This chest of drawers, which practically fits in the palm of the hand, features gold inlay and delicate carving. The beautiful craft object and the old tools that may resemble junk, though juxtaposed, have stood the test of time and live on in the present. Each antique is one of a kind. Kor Kyoto delves into the city's sense of beauty as seen by dedicated experts who unearth value in artifacts for posterity. Gion, Kyoto's largest entertainment district. The area is prominent for its high concentration of traditional machia style buildings. To its north lies one of Japan's finest antique communities, with some 70 stores selling paintings, crafts, and other antiques. Established in 1983, this store's collection includes an array of ceramics, tea ceremony utensils, crafts, and hanging scrolls. Both first-time visitors and tourists are drawn in by the 2,000 or more items on display at any one time. Tachi Yoshitaka stocks only the finest objects that catch his eye. The shelves boast an abundance of tea utensils characteristic of Kyoto, where tea culture flourished. This wooden caddy for storing powdered green tea is embellished with makie, a decorative technique using lacquer and gold dust. The lid depicts a bridge and drooping willow branches. Mother of Pearl inlay catches the light and sparkles. あの、丸いところにこういう絵を描くというのは非常に難しいんですよ。だから現代作家の方もいろいろ作っておられますけど、昔はその職人さんって言われる間が長くて。These hand guards are popular as works of art. Fitted between the sword blade and hilt to protect the hand, they became objects of elaborate design. This guard features inlaid metal shrimp. The gold work captivates, but it is the craftsman's well-honed skill and artistic sense that shines equally in the base metal. When the samurai era ended in the late 1800s and sword prohibition was enforced, swordsmiths eased into the world of arts and crafts to eke out a living. Their metalwork was used locally and shipped overseas, where it was greatly valued. This tiny chest of drawers, crafted some 150 years ago, incorporates prized techniques that are now all but lost. 
it is worth 2 million yen, or about 15,000 US dollars. Tachi's merchandise, which dates approximately from the 17th through early 20th centuries, emerged along with the rise of the merchant class. Gion Matsuri is one of Kyoto's most renowned annual festivals. The floats are often referred to as museums on wheels and afford the festival its legendary pageantry. They were funded by merchants who prospered from the manufacture of Nishijin textiles and other trades. These wealthy merchants enjoyed luxurious everyday items and ordered custom-made objects from skilled craftsmen. Many of the items in Tachi's shop are procured from storehouses belonging to old families who were active in various industries. Not all items were overtly ornate. This appears to be a simple black candy box, but the inside of the lid is decorated using the Makie golden lacquer technique. Kyoto, where beautiful objects are created, imbued with a refined aesthetic sense. Time honored antiques tug at the heartstrings of their new owners, who in turn respect them and use them with care so they can be passed on, as is part of the Kyoto tradition. 